Welcome back viewers. Today we will be doing a simple but elegant ventilation door with the help of 12mm MR gate plywood. 10 cm strips of 12mm plywood are made with the help of circular saw. The strips are cut and assembled like this. So let's start the assembly process. First of all, let's cut the wooden strips. The strips are glued together with the help of wood glue or marine grade wood glue. Okay, the strips are bonded together. Now let's remove the masking tape and start the finishing of the strips. In combination, these strips are now catering a total width of 24 mm and a much more rigidity and strength. As you can see, these joints are perfect and accurate. So let's start the assembly process. First of all, let's finish the inner edge of the vertical panel with the help of some finely cut plywood strips. Finally finish the edges with the help of a motorized planner or a mechanical planner. Again sand the edges for a much better finish. Reinforce the two layers of plywood with the help of randomly screwed quarter inch Phillips head screws. Complete the lamination process of the inner edges before making the holes for the rods. Now let us make the spots for the holes with the help of a simple custom made stencil. Drill the holes with the help of 12mm chisel head drill bits.
hammer the rods into position and connect the upper and bottom panels with the help of screws. Now let's add a central panel to secure and support the long side panels. Make the counter sink holes with the help of higher dia drill bit. After that, apply some wood glue and secure the screws into position. Now all the panels are secured and reinforced with the help of Phillips head screws of quadrants. Balance the width of wooden panels at the lower portion with the help of some finely cut plywood panels. Fine tune the joints with the help of sandpaper. Cut the lamination sheet in desired width and connect it to the plywood panel with the help of heavy coal marine. Trim away the excess edges with the help of a router with a trimmer bit or some simple planner. You can even simply trim the excess edges with the help of a sandpaper. Same way, let's laminate all the panels with the help of textured lamination sheets.
Now all the panels are laminated and let's wait for the glue to dry. The inner side or the back side of the door is laminated with the help of semi-glossy off-white laminate sheets. Finish the edges of the lamination sheet with the help of 220 grit sandpaper. After achieving a smooth finish, now let's finish the outer edges with the help of 5 mm wooden strips. I have finished the wooden strips with the help of 3 quarts of Danish oil. Further I notice that the lower half of the door is totally lacking ventilation holes. So I decided to cut two strips on each side of the door with the help of a jigsaw. Later I made the cut slot for the hinges with the help of a chisel and hammer. The hinges are then connected to the door and the door is mounted into position. The total assembly cost me below 4500 rupees. With the help of some simple DIY tools, you can also try this at your home. All the best and thanks for watching. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe.